Okay, so uh, for the most part, I have gotten everything off. There's still a couple little things here and there. I haven't taken the front or rear axle off or the suspension stuff, but I'm gonna leave all that stuff on because I wanna be able to roll the car out. Cause I think I'm gonna try some uh, sandblasting, but um, I wanna start working on fixing rust. And so let me show you uh, where I'm gonna start because it's probably the most inconspicuous place. If I screw it up, then you probably won't see it. So let's take a look at this. So this, um, this spot right here is where the battery sits. And obviously it's probably rusted and corroded because of battery leaks and things like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just try to grind off and straighten this up and then see if I can't maybe cut a piece and just weld it in here. It's a good kind of first place to start with welding. So let's see how that goes. When I first started looking at replacing this piece, one of the things I thought about doing was, I'm assuming this is like spot welded on here. And I was thinking, well, if I drill these spot welds out and just cut across and do the same on the other side, I could basically just take that whole piece out, which then would allow me to put a new piece in the spot weld at the same place. But I started looking at it there's like a cross piece here because this is the this is the open vent for the heat and i don't want to i don't want to get into that so i decided what i would do is just cut it off straight here cut a diagonal cut it off straight and leave somewhat of a lip right here cut it off diagonal on this side too and then that would be able to allow me to just put a piece in and I'll just have to go around and weld it through the whole thing. It's a lot of welding, it's not spot welding, but I think that's gonna be the best bet. Of course, I'm gonna to have to sand all that down and get it down to smooth to get rid of all that surface rust. So um, I've been cutting on it with a wheel and it seems like it's, I think that's gonna work. So after, um Cutting on that one spot, I decided one of the things I wanted to do today was um, try sandblasting. And I'm doing a gravity fed with just a gun. So a few years ago, I bought a, a um, sandblasting box and the guy I bought it up of it threw in this gravity fed uh, sandblast gun. So that's what I'm trying. And I already know I'm gonna get comments because I'm using just regular old playground sand but this is kind of how it's going right now it's a little slow going and I think what I've decided to do is uh, go ahead and run this through some kind of screen because honestly there's like big chunks in it you can see these big chunks and they tend to get clogged up in there so my next thing I'm going to do is try to um, sift it, get it down to a little bit finer sand and try it again and see if it, uh, see if it works. One of the things I had to do right off the bat was shorten the hose. The hose was really long, which it didn't need to be. And as soon as I cut it down, that saved it from getting clogged up a little bit more. But I think I'm going to go ahead and try to sift out the sand and uh, get it a little bit finer. And then I'll try to try it again. But um, today I'm kind of running out of time. Uh, the positive thing is the sand is kind of doing double duty for me. You can see under the car in my driveway, I got a bunch of oil spots. Uh, my son's Grand Cherokee, or his, not Grand Cherokee, but his Cherokee. It's been leaking oil, which I got to get fixed. Um, and our Suburban is leaking oil. So the sand will do double duty. It will help us, help me soak up some of this oil and I'll just sweep it right into the grass and it'll be good to go. So what I did to sift this down is I just bought one of those adjustable screens at Home Depot for like six bucks and I'm just pouring it through, just shaking it a little bit.
this kind of stuff would be okay, but this is the kind of stuff that's getting clogged up in there. So anything that doesn't go through, I'm just pitching. Okay, after I basically, you know, screened out all the, the playground sand, got all the bigger chunks out, it never uh, clogged again. It literally went steady the whole time, which is really nice. And uh, basically I've done this side over here. And I haven't gone through a whole bag of sand yet, but I'm also thinking, since I'm gonna have to screen it anyway, I may just scoop all this, try to scoop up as much of it as I can, put it back in the bucket, and try to reuse it again. So, um, I did try it on the side a little bit. This is going to take a lot longer because you've got to go through the exterior paint, the primer coat, then the green, original green, and then the primer coat. So you got two top coats and two primer coats to go through. So it'll do it, but it's definitely going to take longer. The places where there's rust, I think I'm just going to take a grinding wheel or a brush and just try to knock that stuff off. Clearly, I already knew I had this I had to the patch. Um, I didn't know that that was rusted out. So, I mean, I'm not surprised. So, I'll have to figure out how I'm going to get to that. But I pretty much like the way it's going at this point. Um, with the... Uh, with the sandblaster, so 
I'm gonna keep keep going at it, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it up for tonight. I'm gonna roll the car back in to the garage and I'm gonna try to scoop up all the sand that's on the ground and put it in a bucket that I'll be able to go through and um, re-screen it again to get all the bigger chunks out and see how that goes. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it at this point. I'm gonna keep going. Um, at least in the engine bay, I'm gonna do this for sure. There's gonna be some other places I'll have to uh, grind off or use a wheel on, but this is great for just getting the top coat off. So um, that's gonna be it for tonight. Thank <laughs> you.